a good way to indulge your conservative instincts uh, while still getting to innovate is to start with something like differential privacy. Um, so differential privacy refers to adding a certain amount of noise or randomness to a data set so that you could pull any real data, data point out of that and not compromise the overall structure of your data set. So the, I, I think about this like widening the bell curve, right? So um, we think about this, if I'm looking at, I don't know, the average education level of people in our particular county, that's going to be skewed because there, our county holds a lot of people who hold multiple postgraduate degrees. We have a lot of doctors a lot of lawyers, a lot of uh, folks who have had um, post-college education. So can we add a certain level of noise to that? Well, we preserve that bump in the higher level of education well, saying that if my neighbor who collects degrees because it's fun, if they dropped out of the data set, we're not going to see then a sudden impact to that. That allows you to still query your data set and still preserve all of the all of the useful features of that data set while preserving the privacy of any single individual. So like if we pulled a single individual out of that data set and all of a sudden that number of degrees dropped, we know it's somebody who has like five or six degrees in our county. That's that's a, a smaller list of people. So you want to make sure that you're able to protect the privacy of the individuals who are making up your data while not compromising your ability to work with that data in a way that's innovative and functional.